must shit your mouth. Shit your mouth. Shit, shit your mouth. What's going on world? I am Wesley from A Connection TV and I am here to talk to you about Tyler Perry's new film, Temptation, Confessions of a Marriage Counselor. Uh, kind of um, a long title, but it's um, referencing his 2008 play um, and I'm sure a lot of you already know that. But is this film worth your money? Is this film worth you going to see it? Y'all already know that I love Tyler Perry, like, ridiculously. And, um, you know, he he does everything that I would like to do in the entertainment industry if I even had an opportunity to do it. And Tyler Perry, he's so attached to a particular formula that has worked for him. I mean, Tyler Perry has grossed over $500 million worldwide uh, through delivering us his film, his films. So, I mean, is that a good number? Is that a terrible number? I mean, I know people wish they have $500 million worth of money just sitting in the bank, but I'm just saying, I mean, is this movie worth it? Is it worth it to go see? It depends on what you like. If you like the melodramatic, soap opera-esque type of acting and drama, then you'll like this movie. If you want to see something completely different from, from Tyler Perry, it's not this movie. This movie is not different. And it's funny because one of my friends was telling me that he thinks that this is a new, uh, uh, a new uh, type, of, type of film from Tyler Perry. And to me, it, it really isn't. I mean, it, it, to me, it's the same, same type of thing. You know, the woman goes for this very attractive man and the very attractive man is evil incarnate and so the woman goes through a very tragic uh, turn of events and she ends up getting saved by the hero. Like, that's typically what his films are about and that's basically what this film was about. Do I like the movie? I thought it was a cool flick. Uh, would I see it twice? No, I just, I wouldn't see it twice. But it's starring Journey, Lance Cross, Brandy, Brandy, hey, Brand, my girl is in it, um, and she's playing a weird character with a with a interesting turn or twist at the end when you find out about her situation. I was like, what? Did I really need that? But then it, it I guess it works because her situation entails, uh, you know, Journey and Lance Gross. But I mean, it was just, I was just like, I, I don't know. It was just like, what? I don't know. It was just weird. But the film, I don't really know what to say about it, y'all. I really don't. I like Brandy's part. I thought Brandy did uh, her role as um, Melinda, aka Karen Justice. Um, Journey was a phenomenal actress, I think. I think she played her role very, very well. And Kim Kardashian. I was actually loving Kim Kardashian in this movie as Ava. She was giving me everything that I needed her to give me as Kim Kardashian because to me it's like she played herself. But to me, she was the most natural actress um, out of all of the, the actors on the freaking film. I mean, Lance Gross was good. I think the best part about him was when he had his crying scene. But uh, Robbie Jones, Robbie Jones was... Robbie Jones was cool, but I was really not digging the whole fact that, um, you know, you had this great guy, Lance Gross, and then you had Journey, who couldn't appreciate the great guy that she had at home, and so she goes for Robbie, Robbie Jones, and Robbie Jones's character is so conniving and so sneaky and so, uh, just, you want to just punch him in his fucking face, like, when they were on the plane, and not to give too much of the movie, but when they were on the plane and all of the lines that he was spitting at this chick, I was just like, that's some job shit. Like, you know the girl is is married, and yet you're still trying to ease your way into her pussy. Like, it was just ridiculous. But um, Vanessa Williams, I think her role was too big. I mean, she was overacting a little bit for me. And then the mother, it was just too much. I don't know. 
I don't know. I the best Tyler Perry flick for me um was the Why Did I Get Married series and um what is the name of that movie? Family that prays. Family, yeah. And the family that prays. That movie was pretty good. Other than that, I mean all of Tyler Perry's flicks that aren't involving Medea. No, I'm lying. I like for colored girls. I really did. And I like Tyler Perry's involvement in Precious, but he didn't write and direct the movie. So, um, I, I, I don't know. I'm like on the fence, y'all. Should y'all go see this movie? I think y'all should. But if I had to give it a rating, because Metacritic gave it a 30 out of 100. That's terrible. That's terrible. IMDb gave it a 3.5 out of 10. That's terrible. I would give it, I would give it a 6 out of 10. That sounds about right. Maybe a 6.5 out of 10. Here are the highlights of Tyler Perry's new 13th movie, by the way. Here are the highlights of the movie for me. Brandy Norwood is in it. Hey, Bran. Uh, Lance Gross and Robbie Jones show their body. What? I mean, come on. Yes. Um, Journey is a phenomenal actress in this particular movie. Kim Kardashian gives you the funny. Believe it or not, Kim Kardashian playing Ava is more funny. It's, it's, it's funnier to watch her than it was to watch the old white lady at the pharmacy. She was not funny to me. It, it, was, just, it was just forced and just too much for me. Um, and another positive, that... Lance Cross and Brandy don't do the damn thing when you think that Tyler Perry is going to make them do the damn thing in this ridiculous turn of events. They don't. And I was just like, oh, yes, that's awesome. He didn't play the typical card with this fucking these two. I, I was just like, I was just so amazed by that concept because I just knew that they were going to end up fucking. And but they didn't. So that was nice. So those are like my highlights of the movie. Other than that, I mean. I don't know. Go check it out for yourself. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I know y'all want me to say much more than what I've said, but there's really nothing else to really say. It's just a, a melodramatic soap opera involving black actors and actresses, and half of them can act and half of them can't. And, yeah. But I liked it for what it was. It was a great attempt. Um, it was cool for what it was. It's just... It was very predictable, and oh, I have to talk about this before I go. Lance Gross, when he turns, how, how, when he gets older, Tyler Perry, your ass know better than to put some gray spray paint on Lance Gross's mustache and call him older. Like, and that was ridiculous. And then Brandy's ass wasn't even; she didn't even age worth anything. Like. I was like, what the hell? The, the, man, the damn makeup on Lance Gross was terrible. It was ridiculous. Tyler Perry, your ass know better. And uh, I don't know. You're going to make some money off this film because we as black people like to support you. But I'm starting to want more. I've been wanting more. But I need more, Tyler. Give me, give me for colored guys. Give me that. Or give me for colored boys. Whatever you want to call it. Give me something like that. God damn it. I'm Wesley from A Connection TV. Subscribe to my channel. Tweet this video, retweet this video, share this video on Facebook, wherever you share it. Um, and thank you for watching. And yeah, once again, subscribe to A Connection TV. And leave your comments below the videos because some of y'all might disagree. But I mean, it is what it is. We agree to disagree. We adopt similar connections despite our differences. So comment below this video. Do y'all like Temptations, Confessions of a Marriage Counselor? Yeah, do y'all like that movie? Or don't y'all. Or if you do, write comments. And if you don't, write comments.